Yo, what's up everybody? This video is not gonna be normally exactly what I do on this channel. I just bought my first house. You know, it's exciting just like everybody, you know, I'm, I'm a homeowner. I have equity in land. I own a piece of the earth. That's crazy. But one thing that I take very seriously in terms of home ownership is definitely gonna be security. And obviously, whenever you have your choice of security, you have your choice anywhere. So if you're not someone who's looking for security or looking for recommendations for like, you know, securing your spot, apartment, house, whatever, then this, this that's all this video is gonna be about. So I'll see you on the next video. But if it's something that you are interested in and it's something that you're looking into, this video is for you because I am literally about to set up a brand new Simply Safe because this is my first home and I wanted my first security to be Simply Safe. So it's kind of like a review and how you know ease of use setup type thing. Not sponsored. This is just me doing my research and purchasing what I think I needed in my in my new house. So this is what I bought. I think this box is only available at Best Buy. This is called the Shield. It has 11 pieces and it's a complete system. That's what it says at least. So I still haven't opened it. You could technically go to Simple, Sim, Simply Safe's website and then you can you know, set up your configuration of your home and then one of their professionals calls you and like tells you exactly what they think that you need, their recommended setup. I went this route instead. So let's go ahead and open this bad boy and see what 11 pieces it comes with. So we got one box right here. And then this one feels like it's the actual main station. Oh, this one actually has the number one on it. So let's open box number two first, cause I don't like to do things the way that you're supposed to. All right, so it comes with six entry sensors. This is the entry sensor right here. It comes with six of these bad boys and they're magnetic and you can, you can feel the magnet. Like look, they stick to each other. And then two motion sensors. From what I can tell, they work to about 30 feet. So you really only need one shooting one way, one shooting the other way. And for my house, that, that pretty much takes up all of the main living areas. So it comes with two of those motion sensors. And then we got one key fob. And the key fob obviously is what it says. Box number two, a setup guide, obviously. This got me kind of pumped right now when I, when I read it. It's so stupid, but I don't know why. It says, let's do this. So I'm like, let's do this, you're right. Start protecting your home in just a few minutes. No tools needed. That's a big one because as a new homeowner, I really don't have any tools right now. Oh shit, you got a shield, Simply Safe monitor shield that goes outside. Window stickers. This is the keypad from what I can tell. This is the keypad that's gonna go by the front door. And it looks like there's no tools needed because everything is just stick and peel. Hopefully these adhesives are strong enough so that way they hold it. This thing probably weighs like a pound and a half. This is the home base. This is what controls everything. See it's Simply Safe right there. And then obviously it comes with a power plug, some screws. I don't know what the screws are for, so maybe it's not all stick and peel. What the hell are these for? Oh, you know what I think they're for? I think they're the, I think they're for that sign. These are just the things that, that the sign is held with. So far, so good. I'm pretty impressed with the packaging of everything. Obviously, packaging aesthetics and the way it all looks and everything is presented, that's extremely important in 2020. It's basically always been important since, since Apple went big time in the Macintosh iPod world. They probably spend just as much time on the packaging design as they do on the actual product. So people like Simply Safe and other companies have followed suit. You basically have to have super nice packaging for anybody to take your product seriously. And this was packaged very nicely. It was very easy to open. Everything had its own little compartment. I don't know if that matters to you, but that matters to me because it's, it represents their brand. If they don't care about their packaging and their initial and their and the initial reaction the customer is going to have, that doesn't bode well in my eyes. But we're good here. The base station is the brains and primary siren of your system. OK, so it's actually the siren. Oh, duh, look, if I would've just looked at that on top, I would've known. We're gonna go and plug this bad boy into this bad boy. Please remove to activate batteries. I'm assuming the batteries are what happens in case somebody decides to cut your alarm system or cut your power to your house. Like you still have backup so that we don't have to worry about communication being cut. Because what's the point of an alarm system if the communication is cut? Oh look, so this is nice. Got this indention right here so that way this plug doesn't look, doesn't look ugly as shit. You plug it in right here. From what I can tell, it should sit flush. Yeah, you see how it, should, you see how it sits flush right there? That's a nice design. I'm actually gonna move location to get a little bit better light. Is that better lighting? Hell yeah, that's better lighting. Good call, Ernest. All right, anyway, base station is up and running. Install your keypads. Follow the on-screen on instructions to set your master pin. Adhesive tape has already been installed on the back of the keypad. Again, keypad. Great. Please remove to activate batteries, just like anything else. You pull that. Bop. We all love this part of new electronics. Oh, sexy as shit. Slide up and off. 
No, it does work. So far, so good in terms of the in, in, in terms of the installation. This is super simple. Choose master pin. New pin. New pin confirmed. She said. This is super simple. You can like literally press the size and that and that enters. Follow the mounting instructions in the guidebook or mobile app. Let's do the motion sensors first. So we're gonna do the motion sensors first. Is it even worth the fight? Not just sitting up alone. Supposedly the batteries in these things last 10 years. You really shouldn't need to change the batteries ever within the first 10 years, obviously. So press the button on a device to test. So buttons on the bottom of the device right here. I don't know if you can see that because it's bright. That's the test button. Motion sensor detected. Motion sensor detected, she said. And then motion sensor found on this thing. Now we're naming the device. It's all pretty good so far. I'm pretty impressed. And then again, it comes with the stickies. So that way you can just stick it to the wall and you shouldn't have any issues. Kind of scared, kind of scared, kind of scared, kind of scared. Boom. Super simple, Nima. It was literally as simple as I thought it was gonna be. We literally just, we just pressed it and it sticks on. Right, Nima? Again, second motion sensor. You get two with this package that I bought. By the way, this package, I think that I paid for it, I think it was 360 altogether, not including any of the actual monitoring. Press the device. Can you read that? And then I'm gonna push the button. Motion sensor detected. Now choose a name. And then the name, this one literally is going in the kitchen. So we're setting that to kitchen. Name. There's a little piece that I got super lucky I did right, but it tells you right here, it says test button installed with the button facing upwards, but for dog owners and cat owners, dog owners and cat owners, which I have both, you need to place it upside down and I was able to get it. The only thing that this set didn't come with are glass break sensors. So I'm gonna go ahead and you know skip that, but I'm assuming it's kind of the same setup. So this motion sensor that I placed over there in the living room, it fell off from the stickiness. And I don't think that's a, I don't think that's a defect of the actual device or the actual sticky pad. I think it's because when I bought this house, they had just renovated it. So there's a lot of like, there's a lot of dust on the walls. And I think that that stopped it from getting enough purchase to actually stick. But the good thing is that you can slide off this back right here and then you can remove these sticky pads from the inside and then you can screw it into the wall, which I'm probably gonna end up doing on all of them. That's a good like backup. It says you don't need tools because technically you don't because of the stickiness, but I'm gonna actually end up having to use tools, which is fine. And the other one just fell. So that's definitely what's going on. And since they fell, I just wanna test them real quick and make sure that they work. So we're good. They still, they're still detected by the system. So we should be all right. So next we're gonna install these entryway sensors. I assume that these are the same way with the stickiness. But these, if I have to screw them in, I'll have to screw them in. But yeah, they come with screws too. But I'm gonna, I'm gonna stick it on first to see what happens. All right, so I just screwed in one of the door sensors and I just screwed it right into the door. I personally probably wouldn't even trust the adhesion of the, of the adhesive stickers. So I would just say straight screw it in regardless. It says no tools required, but for something as important as an alarm system, I probably wouldn't leave it up to chance with the, with the sticky. I would rather just, I would rather just screw it in. So the only fault that I have so far of the, of the system is that it doesn't come with like a little screw. Like my Nest thermostat came with a screw so that way I could screw it in. And the screws are so small that most people are not gonna have the drill bit for that or, or a screw this small anyway. So you'd have to go buy one. So that's the only bad thing that I've seen about it, but everything else is pretty solid. I have four more sensors that I'm gonna put on the uh, on the windows, but I wanna clean the windows. I wanna do all that before I try to screw in and, you know, and stick whatever. You know, the bad experience of the stickies, that is the only downfall that I say of this product. And it's not even really a downfall because they give you plenty of screws. Um, the only downfall of the product is that they don't give you the screwdriver. It's gotta be like more than 50% people who actually want the screws versus the actual, versus the sticky pads. So I would think just provide like a cheap little screwdriver. The screws aren't crazy long. This is the length of a screw right here. That's it. It's not like it's gonna be a lot of work to screw that in because it just goes straight into the drywall, but it does feel more secure and more safe with this. Sorry, battery died. What was I saying? Uh, oh, the screws. Yeah, I feel much safer with the screws than I do with the sticky pad. But that's really the only downfall of the system is that they don't provide a screw. It's kind of just an annoyance. It's not even a downfall. Most people have screwdrivers, but it's just the fact that these are so small, very few people are gonna have a screwdriver that fits that. The keypad is easy to operate. I, I like it. The actual base station is easy to hear. It's easy, the, the sound is very good. The setting up of the devices to the base station, really all you gotta do is just have this on, push the button on each little device and it automatically sends the signal to this, which sends the signal to that. 
You set up all your pads, you set up all your, all your pins and everything here. Actually, when my camera battery died, I set up the actual service with Simply Safe. It was super easy. SimplySafe.com backslash or forward slash activate, and you just walk through the steps. It asks you for your credit card. You get 30 days worth of free trial service just so you can see what it's all about, and then it'll start charging you after that. I don't know what the charge is. It's, I'm assuming like $30 a month. That's on average what I've seen systems go for. The instructions in the setup guide were super easy to understand. This whole guide is for every single product that they have. So you have everything from activating the alarm, installing motion sensors, installing sirens, installing water sensors, carbon monoxide, carbon dioxide, smoke detectors, uh, your Simply Cam, which I plan on getting a camera and canceling the Nest Cam so I could just all have one bill. This is dope. So you just really need to keep this and activation of everything else is pretty simple. So I'm pretty happy with the purchase so far. I might make an update video once I get the entire house situated and you know, we'll see where we go. The hardest part of the whole thing is screwing it into the wall. The actual software of the product is super simple. Any, anybody could do it, whether you're eight or 80, you know? But that's pretty much it for this video. If you find yourself on this video because you're looking for like a Simply Safe review, I appreciate you watching. Maybe look around if you like vlogs, if you like music, you know, stick around. If you're my normal subscriber, we go back to our normal reactions and vlogs and everything on the next video. But that's it for this video, guys. Appreciate your time. Love and care for one another, love and care for each other. And I'll catch everybody on the next video. Peace.